This video is about Ned Christie and his story is told by his niece, Betty Christie Frog. Now this is a picture of Ned. Some people say he was an outlaw. Other folks say he was a hero. He's buried in the Watt Christie Cemetery. You can see over on the right hand side, Bawahila, uh, Oklahoma, not too far from Tahlequah. And the map here will show you where it's at. Now Betty tells a story and because my angle is a little bit off, it's a little bit hard to hear at times. So I did some uh, captions here. Those are paraphrases, not exact translations. I am the great, great niece of Ned Christie. My uh, family all live in this area here that you see. At one time, this used to be a really hustling, bustling place. It was like a small town. There was a, a grocery store, a blacksmith, uh, where Ned was at. Uh, as you guys know, uh, Ned was a blacksmith in a gun store. And the stories that, some of the stories that I've heard was that he would take a gun apart, blindfold it, and put it back together. He was an a excellent shop. And uh, there used to be a meal, this, this meal, just about a quarter mile up here. It used to stand when I was going to school here at Wahoa, and it burned, and that was a great loss. Um, but this whole place is just like all the Christians used to live in this area. And uh, Ned's place is like half a mile up the road, and you really can't get to it with those big buses. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where, uh, actually, where they, he was attacked. And um, they attacked within a cannon because his house was a fortress. He built a cabin within a cabin. A lot of people say they put, um, I can't remember, one was, they, between the two walls they put rocks. Some people say something else. Sand, sand, sand or something like that. Yeah. But it was rocks. So they put rocks in it. And it, he, it was a really, really nice fortress. He lived, um, he lived out in the open. He lived out in the open. People uh, would help him. And that's what tricky people do. We help each other. You know, uh, when he was accused of killing a marshal, he, he didn't know anything. He, uh, he had been drinking. <laughs> you know, he didn't see or hear anything because he had been drinking and he was accused. Um, he was elected to office in 85 and two years later when he was there at... Um, in Tahlequah for a meeting, and that's when he was accused of murdering a marshal, a federal marshal. And um, he was um, he was on the run for about five years, out in the open, just out in the open. He did his thing, but he was accused of every shooting, bank robbery, or thing because they called him an outlaw, and he was not an outlaw. No, he was an outlaw. He was out to save himself because he knew Parker would have been so hanging if they got caught. And like I said, Cherokee people take in Cherokee people. We help them out so they can get back on their feet. And today it's called aiding and abetting, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I was making laws to mess our system up. But um, several years ago, you can see the headstone. Somebody stole it. Oh, see where it's cracked. Mm -hmm. Somebody stole the headstone and they put up a reward for it. And some people started, you know, saying, oh, I know who has it. And so-and-so said so-and-so, you know. But evidently the guy that stole it wasn't right in the head and they didn't want charges pressed, it, you know. And um, when they brought it back, I really don't know who put it back together, but they did a good job. And... It's kind of leaning a little bit, but <coughs> they did a really, really good job. You couldn't fix it any better with the old headstone like this. Any questions? By the way, Betty is also in Cherokee National Treasure for basketry. Mm -hmm. Betty, you might tell them about Watt and Lydia. You know, oh, right. Watt. Uh -huh. Watt is his dad. <laughs> yeah. And they have that. Tears in my mom. Yeah, they were, um, yeah, I really want to tell you. Uh, um, Watt is actually, there, there's always several namesakes. I have a cousin that was up the road, his name was also Watt Christie, and my dad's name was Lacey Christie, and there are several Lacey Christie's. There used to be several Lacey Christie's around Watt Christie, Ned Christie. There's about three Ned Christie's who are all related. 
anybody with a last name Christie, they're related to me. <laughs> and because this is of the strange thing. They were Christies out in Marble City too, but there were no relations. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the button below. You're welcome to leave comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And finally, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button over on the bottom right hand corner. Thank you again for watching.